This is a story about pigs. Pigs, humans, and pathogens. The story was partly told in 2009, when pigs were famously the source of the ignominiously named swine flu, which was later given a more accurate title, the H1N1 influenza pandemic. Fear the pig was the theme of the 2009 pandemic. Lost pork sales and export bans cost the swine industry billions of dollars. But you probably don't know the real story about swine flu. A story that's refining our understanding of pathogen dynamics between humans and animals. For centuries, animal pathogens have presented a threat for humans. Humans originally got the SARS virus from palm civets in Asia, although the virus may have originally come from bats. Today, there's the threat of bird flu, supposedly just a couple mutations away from being the next pandemic virus. But when pigs started getting really sick during the 2009 pandemic, researchers discovered that it wasn't pigs giving the virus to humans, but it was humans that were transmitting the pandemic influenza virus back to the pigs. In the past, there have been isolated cases of humans passing pathogens onto animals, either in zoo settings or limited wildlife outbreaks. But with the H1N1 pandemic virus, we're suddenly talking about hundreds of transmission events from humans to pigs all over the world, and seeding viruses that continue to circulate in pigs to this day. It's true that a pig was the original source of the single transmission event to humans that sparked the pandemic. But from that point on, humans passed on far more virus to pigs than pigs ever transmitted to humans. Now, 2009 wasn't the first time that humans infected pigs with influenza viruses. Humans have been transmitting flu to pigs for decades. In fact, humans are overwhelmingly the greatest source of influenza virus diversity in pigs. Infecting pigs with human influenza viruses isn't just bad for the pig. There appear to be fewer constraints on viral evolution in pigs than in humans. So when a human virus gets into a pig, it can evolve in trajectories that wouldn't be possible in a human. Influenza virus genomes are comprised of segments that can be swapped during co-infection, producing new hybrid viruses. This process called reassortment occurs much more frequently in pigs than in people. Humans have created the ideal conditions for the next influenza pandemic. On one hand, you have pigs, which are ideal vessels for the reassortment of viruses, and then you have humans continually providing them with new influenza virus diversity. H3N2 V viruses are a perfect example of the role of humans in generating new pandemic threats in pigs. These variants have infected over 300 people attending U.S. agricultural fairs. We have a natural bias towards thinking of animals as sources for disease for humans, and not the other way around. But this can cloud important research and public health strategies. Ecologically, it makes sense to think of humans as just another mammalian species in a web of hosts that exchange viruses in all directions. Humans may be important nodes in the ecology of other pathogens. If we don't consider the possibility, if we don't look, we'll never know.